we've just completed the most detailed discussions ever held on a programme for government. Throughout the negotiations, Fianna Fáil took the decision not to provide a running commentary on discussions, but rather we worked for the result, which shows to our voters that Fianna Fáil will deliver for them in government. Any fair review of the programme will see how our core priorities are reflected in it, and also that it gives us the most impact we could have in any possible government which could be formed during this particular dawn. There's a lot of detail, but the key highlights include a new approach to housing with a significant expansion of social and affordable homes, urgent action in health, including action to tackle waiting lists, the increase in the pension age will not go ahead in January, and 65-year-olds who are required to or who choose to retire early will receive a pathway pension at the same rate as job seekers benefit without having to sign on. A new rep scheme and direct support for farm families to achieve fair prices. An absolute commitment to education with lower class sizes and extra investment at all levels. A commitment to rural and community development funding. Transformative action on transport, energy and the climate emergency, including major investment in public transport and roads and a programme to retrofit 500,000 homes and vitally an investment driven recovery plan. It's an ambitious programme but it is affordable within reasonable projections for the coming years. I want to thank everyone in the party who contributed to the negotiations and submitted your ideas. In the coming days, we'll have a detailed discussion with the party. I look forward to talking about the ways in which Fianna Fáil, working with others, can deliver a government of recovery and renewal for our people.